stocks have staged one of their greatest rallies in history, but millions of investors have missed it. We don't see any increased activity from the public. Ted Weisberg has thousands of clients at Seaport Securities, but they haven't been pouring money back into stocks. The activity level is the same today as it was a year ago, and yet the market has rallied 4,000 points from the low. In fact, investors have pulled $40 billion out of U.S. stock funds since the start of last year. On the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, the panic of a year ago has been replaced by caution. It's estimated that more than $3 trillion of investors' cash is just sitting it out on the sidelines. Everything is so volatile. It's unpredictable. It's uncertain. With her 401k down 22 percent, Kim Preshold, who works in marketing for a California hospital, has taken a more active role in investing her money. Every hard-earned dollar I make, I want to know that it's going someplace that's safe. So she's moved into other investments like bonds. Do you think there's been a fundamental shift in attitude toward stocks after this? Well, you know, that's what we're concerned about because we have not seen the average investor get back into this market yet. Even with the rally, the Dow is still down 25 percent from its all-time high in 2007. Ted Weisberg says investors saw the economy have a near-death experience. They're still scared, and I don't know what it will take to change that. Most of all, it could take time, maybe years, before investors are comfortable again with the risks in the stock market. Katie? Meanwhile, a report out today shows that 25 percent of Americans have decided to put off retirement. That is a staggering number. It is a staggering number, and of course it's because their 401ks have taken a hit, home prices have plummeted. But here's the really scary part of this, Katie. Forty-three percent of Americans in that survey say they've put away less than $10,000 for retirement, and more than a quarter say that they put away less than $1,000 in savings. All of this, the putting off a of retirement means a tight job market's going to get even tighter. All right. Anthony Mason, Anthony, thank you.